Hey everybody and welcome. Today we are here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. We're getting ready to take you guys along with us too. Then it's barbecue. Then it's barbecue. Thank you. So Bennett's Barbecue is so popular. We came here last night actually trying to get a table and the wait was well over one hour. So we opted to go right next door, which is the same building. But if you go to this side, it's Bennett's Barbecue. If you go to this side, it's Big Daddy's Pizza. And we ended up going to Big Daddy's Pizza instead. So we are back here the next day at 11 a.m. We can smell that hickory smoke coming from the rooftops right over here. It smells delicious. And we'll see if we can get a table now that they have just opened at 11 o'clock. And not only is Bennett's Barbecue right next to the river, check this out. Free parking right here at Bennett's Barbecue. Here is a look at the menu for the starters. They have deep fried pickles, trailhead combo, which is deep fried deviled eggs and deep fried pickle chips and potato skins. Here are the house specialties, which are the deep fried deviled eggs cheese squares and pork chili. They have pork rinds right now for nine bucks with honey barbecue for dipping. Barbecue nachos, soups and salads, and we are here for lunch. So here are the lunch specials. Barbecue beef brisket, barbecue chicken, hog legs, barbecue combo, jumbo baby back ribs, catfish, chicken tenders, and burnt ends. For desserts they have baked cobbler, chocolate cake, flourless chocolate tort, and they have sweet potatoes for sidekicks, loaded potatoes, and then here are a list of other side dishes. Garlic biscuits, french fries, coleslaw, mac and cheese, barbecue beans, deep fried corn, potato salad, collard greens, or green beans. And here are the adult beverages and cocktails, as well as other beverages. And this is a Johnson Family Restaurant, the same owners of Big Daddy's Pizza, Joe and Pop Sub Shop, Mama's Farmhouse, Mama's Chicken Kitchen, and one of our favorites, Alamo Steakhouse. And here is the kids menu. They have a little kids menu which includes corn dogs, cheeseburgers, and chicken tenders. And the big kids menu includes ribs, chicken tenders, wings, or pork sandwiches. And it does include a drink as well as a side. And it looks like it has jello with whipped cream for dessert as well. Gentry uh, was going to get the ribs and french fries and then our waitress informed us that even though it's not listed they also have macaroni so he was all in for that gentry wants to show one of his pictures that he just drew here it says his name is subscribe and speaking of subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to this channel and you enjoy our channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button in the last 28 days, we just checked our analytics on YouTube, we had 17.6 thousand people watch more than one video. So watching at least two videos. So that means we have a lot of people watching our videos who have never hit that subscribe button. So we'd greatly appreciate it and we would be honored if you'd hit that subscribe button. If you're watching our channel and you're like, I don't like your channel, that's totally fine. It's not for everybody. But if you do enjoy it, hit that subscribe button. Right over here in this little wooden case, we've got some house sauces. Let's see what we got. Over here we've got mustard's last stand, like a Carolina gold sauce. Over here we've got a honey barbecue, which is honey Q for you. And over here is the puckering pig. So I imagine based on those little pepper seeds that we can already see in there, this is definitely the hot one. Check out the mason jar chandelier. That is so neat. I really love the decor here, especially that they have live philodendrons throughout. They're everywhere. So you kind of feel like you're on the front porch eating at a cookout. So Henry asked me to draw him, and I had to do something that he does a lot, if you know what I mean. He loves chicken, so I had to do this. And he has it in both hands. Signature Henry move right there. All right, Jennifer, what did you order today? So Henry and I are splitting the barbecue combo, and we got ribs pulled pork, jalapeno sausage, collard greens, 
and macaroni, and it comes with two garlic cheese biscuits. All right, Brent, what did you get? I ended up getting the barbecue combo as well, and I got beef brisket, ribs. Over here, I subbed out for some burn ins. Comes with two biscuits, potato salad, baked beans, and I added on a hog leg. Check that out. All right, Gingy, what did you order? I did order the ribs, but they accidentally brought the chicken tenders, but I can keep them. They said that I can keep them, so I got the ribs, chicken tenders, macaroni, and honey mustard. Looks pretty good. All right, so I'm going to try the pulled pork with some of the sauces, but first I'm going to try the pulled pork by itself. Looks like there's a good bark on there. Looks like it's well seasoned and moist. It's very good. It's got a very, um, it's very moist. It's not dry, so love that. And then uh, it's, it's very well seasoned, um, but not too seasoned, so that like if you do want to try out a sauce or something like that, you've got that going. And I'm going to try out the mustard sauce first. Well, Ooh, that's really good. It's zesty, tangy, and a little bit just enough of like a spice also uh it's not a, a painful spice or anything like that it's just like really really good this one is the honey cue for you thank you that's fabulous as well i really like that i am gonna go in for the spiciest one that they have mm, that's really good too it's not too spicy it's um if you don't like spice, you probably won't like it, but uh, it's got like just enough of a kick on there. A little bit of like almost like a cayenne and a jalapeno together with that vinegary taste of a barbecue. I really like it. And then I'm gonna try their traditional warm sweet. That one's tasty too. I say you can't go wrong with any of these sauces here. They're all uniquely different and they all have like just enough of everything in there that you need. You know, if you want a sweet, you got a sweet. If you want a tangy, you've got the mustard one. If you want a little bit of spice, you've got this one. And then you've got your like traditional, the two traditional ones. <laughs> this is the jalapeno sausage. And you can see it looks like it's gonna have a good snap on the end there. Looks like it's smoked real well. And then you've got the little jalapenos in the inside. Henry's already tried a piece and he said that uh, it was just a little bit spicy. He like. He likes a little bit of spice in his life also. <laughs> he loves salsa and things like that. But I'm gonna try it by itself. So that one does have a little bit of spice to it. So if you're not a spice lover, you might not like that, but I do like spicy stuff. Um, just not like, you know, way, way too spicy, just perfect. Um, that is definitely really, really good. And it does have a really good snap to it on the outside. So here are the collard greens. Y'all know I love my greens. Looks like these are fresh. And there's also pork in there. So these collard greens are so tasty. They're very savory. And uh, that pork in there just gives them a, a good broth. And then the uh, greens are tender, so good. So I put half of uh, this on to Henry's plate because they're splitting. And uh, just wanted to try a little bit, but it's got breadcrumb topping on the top and looks like a good creamy, cheesy texture. That's very good. Very tasty. I like the crunch of the breadcrumbs on the top too. That adds just another layer to it. All right, so I've already tried some of the ribs and I will tell you they are fall off the bone and very delicious. Um, the sauce that they have on here is um, like a good hickory sauce. So it's not spicy, it's not uh, sweet, it's just a perfect medium. And I've tried some of the burnt ends as well. The burnt ends have some onions that are mixed in here as well. I love this sauce. Um, on the initial bite, it's really sweet, but on the back end, it has just a, a little kick. Nothing extreme by any means, but I've looked at these baked beans and I'm excited about these because there's a little bit of pork that's in those baked beans. Let's see how they taste. They look really saucy. Very thick, a very delicious barbecue baked bean. I love the thickness to it. I love how there's meat in there. You guys know I love potato salad. I'm gonna try some of this potato salad here. Mm. 
and try another bite. For good measure. <laughs> Trying to put them in comparison to some other places that we tried. And I can't think of a comparison. Just a good mustard potato salad. Um, I'm not seeing a whole lot of like pickles or anything like that in here. Um, but it's just got a good delicious mustard based taste. They also brought out a regular sauce to our table. So I'm going to put a little regular sauce here on the... And that's warm too. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize it was warm. Yeah. So that's why they brought it to our table warm. And this is just a mild barbecue sauce. Mmm. That's really good. It's got that ketchup base. A little bit of tang to it as well. Now a little bit of that mustard sauce, Carolina Gold. Look at that. Good vinegar based taste. I can't distinguish which one I like more. I'll tell you this, you might notice that I had two of these on my plate. Now I'm down to one. These are very similar to Red Lobster, but I maybe like these a little bit more because they're not extremely heavy on the garlic and butter. It's just the, the perfect amount. And last, I'm gonna try this hog leg here. Look at all that barbecue. It's definitely sweet and very meaty. Not a whole lot of fat. Obviously it's the leg, so there's not gonna be as much fat, but this is so good. So good. I mean, fall off the bone as you can see here. And one thing I want to mention is they were talking about the fat on the burnt ends on the on the menu. It said that there is marbleization and it's not intended for people who don't like a lot of fat. I like more meat than fat. Uh, I know some people are like, well, the fat brings out all the flavors. I'm not a big fat guy when it comes to steak or pork. I don't taste a lot of fat in these burnt ends. I just taste a lot of delicious pork taste. I haven't had a chance to try my ribs. I really like them and I mean like one bite of them and I'm already full. That macaroni is pretty good there too. I haven't tried the chicken tenders yet but I did give Henry a few and seems like he's got a chance to eat them. We cleaned up. Yeah. So one of the great things that we enjoy about Johnson Family Restaurant Group is they always give you a little survey here at the end. They also, in addition to the survey, they give you mints and they give you a pack of toothpicks. And this kind of gives me flashbacks because from 2013 through 2020, March 7th of 2020 to be exact, uh, I owned a professional development company and a conference business. And so at the end of those conferences, I always had a survey and I would ask for reinforcements and refinements to continuously improve upon uh, the company. And when I would, whenever I would get those refinements, 95% of the time I would get these and I would say the room was too hot or the ballroom was too cold. And sometimes those comments would be people sitting side by side. So it kind of gave me a flashback to those days where everybody either thought the ballroom was too hot or it was too cold. And for dessert, the boys are, the boys has a dessert. All right, what do you got there? Delicious. The top, we have whipped cream. Jelly it's kind of all at the bottom. You like the strawberry jello too or just the whipped cream? It's whipped cream because it's good. And our final bill came out to a total of $74.50 after tax and before tip. That was Bennett's Barbecue. Henry, you always like to go first. What did you think about Bennett's Barbecue? It was good. And um, I like it, the ribs and the macaroni. But I didn't like the crunchy thing on it, but... Don't um, like the bread topping, huh? I like it to, uh... The pork? The pork or the rib? You had pork and you had a biscuit and ribs and macaroni. Um, and sausage. Did you like any... Which one did you like the best? I already said that. All right. And Gentry. <laughs> I gotta say, they did mess up a little bit, but... All in all, I did get to keep it, and uh, that's a bonus to it. I really like the chicken and the uh, ribs. Which was better? Especially the macaroni. Uh, probably the ribs. The ribs. That's what you ordered initially, but then they brought out chicken tenders. So you actually came out ahead because they let you keep the chicken tenders. So not a bad deal. <laughs> and Jennifer. I really enjoyed this place. Um, I have to say, first, first off, sweet tea alert. Uh, the sweet tea was fantastic and I think that you have to have a good sweet tea with a good barbecue place so 
those go hand in hand with each other. The smell when you walk in this place, oh my gosh, it smells so good. You get that good smoky barbecue smell and feel like you're walking into a cookout at a relative that cooks really good barbecue. But uh, everything was really great there. I really liked that you got to try all the sauces as well. And there wasn't anything that I didn't like there. I loved it all. All right, so we have to give a shout out to our waitress, Teeny. She was awesome, very attentive, kept our refills flowing. So thank you, Teeny. As far as the food, if I were to pick two of my favorites, the hog leg was number one, ribs were number two. All of the sauces were amazing. Um, after the third or fourth bite of the potato salad, I realized it was not my favorite. So I wanna clarify, those first couple bites were good. I was trying to piece together what it was similar to, and <laughs> by bite three and bite four, I determined it wasn't my favorite but everything else is delicious, including the biscuits that came with it. The biscuits just come with it. There wasn't anything that you ordered. Those were delicious. Kind of like the Cheddar Bay biscuits, but not as thick with the uh, butter and the garlic. But all in all, we're very glad that we came here to Bennett's Barbecue here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Um, we're trying to find every single barbecue place here in the Smokies, and this is a place that's very popular, but we have just not been here yet. So. Guys, we thank you so much for joining us here at Bennett's Barbecue in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And we sure to look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Every, Every Day, Day is Saturday. Is Saturday. Woo!